What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're talking about vitamin C. <laughs> vitamin C is a very, very much talked about topic on the YouTube skincare space. And today we'll be talking about all things vitamin C. I'll be giving you guys my top recommendations. I'll also be clearing some things up about vitamin C. This is a really juicy video about vitamin C that you guys are going to appreciate. So let's get into this video. If you're new here, I'm April. I am a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in science-based skincare, please hit that subscribe button for me down below. Like this video to see more videos like this from me and turn on your channel notifications because we're here every week talking about skincare all right so vitamin c we're going to talk about vitamin c for a little bit before i jump into the products that i'm going to be recommending to you guys vitamin c is not found in the body vitamin c is one of the ingredients that is unfortunately not made in our bodies like hyaluronic acid or even retinols it's just not made in our bodies which led to a lot of people getting a disease called scurvy back in the day because they had vitamin C deficiencies that they didn't know about. But now vitamin C is very, very ubiquitous. <laughs> more ubiquitous than I want it to be, but it is. Vitamin C is found in two forms. It's found as L-ascorbic acid naturally from trees, but it's also found as D-ascorbic acid, which is the more dormant type of vitamin C that's not active at all, like L-ascorbic acid. And that one is made synthetically in the lab. Now, ideally, L-ascorbic acid is the vitamin C that you want to see in your product, is the vitamin C that everyone wants to shoot for. But unfortunately, this ascorbic acid is very unstable, needs a very low acidic pH formulation, it could lose its potency really quickly when it comes in contact with sunlight, oxygen, and even water. So it's really important for uh, formulators to not only formulate it correctly, but also make sure to put it in a really tight vacuum container where it doesn't get any contact with light or water or anything that's going to compromise its potency. Some of the benefits of vitamin C that keeps people coming back is that vitamin C is great at brightening the skin, firming the skin, it helps with collagen, fine lines and wrinkles. Something I want to add really quickly is that you guys should not forget to get vitamin C through your diet. Do not rely on just your skincare ingredients for vitamin C. It's really important to get vitamin C through peppers, through oranges or citrus fruits. Very important to get your vitamin C through like your food because that's really what your body needs to get you know that ascorbic acid from and a lot of times when you already have optimum levels of vitamin C in your body some research has been done to show that any more vitamin C that you might be getting through skincare ingredients doesn't really do anything because you already have optimum level in your skin so I just wanted to put that out there okay so now that we know a little bit more about vitamin C let's jump into my recs so I'm going to be recommending three products today. The first one I'll be recommending today is this one by L'Oreal Paris. I'm going to start from the more affordable vitamin C to the one that just needs a little bit more coins, okay? So the first one I'm talking about today is this one by L'Oreal Paris. This one retails for $23.99. It's a one ounce and it has 10% ascorbic acid in it. Now really quickly, as far as potency for vitamin C, anywhere between 5 to 15% is perfect to a vitamin C. 20% is okay, but that's a little overkill anywhere outside of that 23 25 80 percent i really hope i don't see a brand come out with that but 15 to 20 percent is your sweet spot for vitamin c to be effective now this product is at 10 percent, which is great right according to what i just told you guys i looked on the website to see what ph it was formulated at but that information wasn't on there it just said optimal ph so let's just take their word for it and believe that they formulated this product at a ph anywhere below or, or under which is great for vitamin c to remain stable now this product has no fragrance so if you don't like fragrance, this one is your forte. It has ascorbic acid. Now I'm hoping it is L-ascorbic acid, which is like I said, is the most potent form of vitamin C, but they didn't indicate what form it is. So let's just believe that it's L-ascorbic acid. This product also has hyaluronic acid, which we know is great for hydrating the skin, plumping up your skin, glowy skin. This is a decent product for $23.99. I really like this product. I think it's a great vitamin C for people on a budget. Now, if you have a little bit more coins in your pocket, the second product I'm going to recommend is this one from Vichy. This one is retailing for $28.50. Comes in a 0.34 ounce bottle. Now a lot of vitamin C you see comes in like one ounce or under bottles just because vitamin C usually would last for three months. Some people say you can use it up to six months but I wouldn't advise using it more than six months because a lot of times it oxidizes inevitably just because you're constantly opening up that bottle and it's getting exposed to sunlight and air and water so it does get oxidized after that time frame so it's important to 
only use the vitamin C products, you know, between that three to six month mark. And if you don't finish it, I'll advise to go ahead and get a new bottle. Anyway, so this one is a 0.34 ounces. It has 15% ascorbic acid. Again, it doesn't say whether it's, whether it's L ascorbic acid or D ascorbic acid, but let's believe it's the L ascorbic acid, which is the most important form because that would be upsetting if you're buying something that doesn't work. It also has vitamin E, which vitamin E actually helps ascorbic acid stay stable, as well as hyaluronic acid, which you talked about, that's great for pumping up the skin and keeping your skin hydrated. Moving on to the third product. Third product here is this one by Paula's Choice. This is their Super Booster Vitamin C. This one retails for $39.20. It comes in a 0.67 ounce bottle. It has 15% L-ascorbic acid. It actually indicated the type of ascorbic acid, which I love, and they indicated that it comes in a pH of 3. So we know that everything is already looking great. We know that it's formulated at a optimum pH. It's formulated at 15%, which is great. And the last thing here, which you guys are going to love, is it actually has vitamin E and perolic acid. Both are great ascorbic acid stabilizers. Those really keep that vitamin C stable and keeps it acting for the specific time frame that you should be using it for. And even amplifies the way the vitamin C works on your skin. Other ingredients I really like that this one has is vitamin B5, which is a great skin softening ingredient, as well as bisabolo, which is a great skin soothing ingredient. So this product is packed with a lot of just beautiful ingredients that your skin will love. When I look through the comments though, some people they say this product was a little irritating to their skin. I mean, there's always going to be outliers. Everyone's skin is different. Skin is really complex, but all in all, I think this is a really great product if your skin can handle the tons of ingredients that it has. But I think it's a really, really well formulated and thought out product. Also, I love how transparent they are with all of the ingredients. Polish Choice does that a lot and I love that about them. So these are my top three vitamin C products uh, that I think you guys will enjoy. Some people have asked me about vitamin C in the comments and I thought this video would really help you guys if you're shopping for vitamin C and needing a little help. So yeah, these are my top three. The video really is over at this point and you can go ahead and go about your day. But I want to talk about one last product here. This is the vitamin C from SkinCeuticals. This one is retailing for $166. $166 for a one ounce vitamin C. Now I looked through it. It's also 15% vitamin C, like the one from Polish Choice. It also has folic acid, vitamin E. But something they indicated that their vitamin C does is that it reduces the damage done by UVA, UVB rays, as well as damage caused by diesel exhaust pipes by up to 41%. This is actually something that they painted. But I couldn't really justify the 166 charge just because they have that extra claim. It pretty much resembles um, Polish Choice, almost like a mirror image of Polish Choice. The only thing is they have this claim and they have fewer ingredients, which I love, but I still don't get the price. And looking through the comments, a lot of people did have complaints about the price and how much they never really get to finish the products, but then have to pay this crazy price for vitamin C, which I don't think is necessary. But anyway, that's all I want to say for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. As usual, I love answering your questions. I may not get to them as soon as you guys would like, but I will get to them eventually. I do love interacting with you guys. If it's your first time here, please say hi in the comments below. I love when you guys um, introduce yourself when you're new here. It just makes me feel like I'm connected to you guys. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop talking now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.